Hi, I'm Briley Grubb. I'm a junior with Spearfish Girls Basketball. Hi, I'm Taylor Duncan. I'm a senior. Hi, I'm Maya Kachutin, and I'm a sophomore. This year we've had a good start so far. We've beat Hill City, and um, it's just we've had a few tough games. We've played Pierre and Stevens, who have been really good, and we've had some challenges. But I think together we're coming together and playing together good so far. So the season is looking good so far, and we should have just good things in front of us. Uh, yeah, this year has been really fun to see everyone play together, and we've really grown as a team with Coach Johnson and all of us together. Um, we have some good games coming up. We play Brandon Valley and Harrisburg, and those should be some good competition, and we should compete really well. Yeah, I think that we had this like last game, this Hill City game, we did really good about completing the game, and it just shows how deadly we can be upcoming with Brandon Valley and Harrisburg and everybody else in this schedule, and I'm super excited. We're at Spearfish High School visiting with Dakota Johnson, the girls' basketball coach, about recent competition. You know, we kind of had a rough start as far as getting some games canceled and postponed, so we had to sit on the loss against Belfouche. Um, there at the beginning of the season and, and go 20 days without a game and then um, came back and kind of had a shaky start against Hot Springs and um, ended up pulling it out and figuring it out. and um, So shaky start, but overall we're um, competing in every game. We're, we're right there. Had uh, some tough games against Pierre and Rapid City Stevens and just ended up short. Um, but overall, like I said, they're being very competitive um, and they're, they're putting things together. Uh, we just need to figure out how to put full games together. What I'm liking so far is uh, we've, we've had some decent balance. Obviously, uh, Maya Kachutin in her sophomore year, she's really starting to shine and, and grow into her role, which is being a scorer. Um, and she's had some really, really big games for us. Um, I expect teams to kind of start taking that away, but I'm not scared because of who we have to score after her. Um, you know, having people like Josie Dana, uh, Mariah Bowman, who could score at will from anywhere, and, and even some of our girls coming off the bench. Um, so we've got a lot of scoring threats, um, and defensively their mentality has just been um, very, very uh, tough and physical and um, ready for any battle. So seeing a lot of really good things um, as far as, you know, how we looked last year to this year. I think last year we were figuring it out and, you know, figuring out what my expectations are and what, you know, each role is going to be. And since we have a lot of returners, I think they're really growing into those roles and they're meeting those expectations and they have it figured out. It's just a matter of putting it together. And I think that's really a really exciting place to be. Coach, this being your second year with the team, how would you describe the improvement in chemistry compared to the first year? I mean, the more you play with somebody uh, and with a team, um, the more you just know where each other's going to be. And I think they're really starting to figure that out. Um, like I said, we're, we're starting to figure out our offense, and it's nice when you don't have to call sets and you don't have to tell them what to do every single time just because they know where their teammates are going to be. And, and like I said, they're starting to figure that out. We had a really good summer together, um, went to a really fun team camp in Tennessee, and um, they really grew as a team and, and built on that chemistry. And, and, and really, this is just a fun group and that they get along so well as it is on and off the floor. And so when you have that, you know you have something special. And I think this is a really special group who, who's embracing each other. And um, they, don't, they don't care who gets the glory because at the end of the day, it's the Spartans. And, and that's the kind of mentality that they have. And I'm really proud of them for embracing that. Coach, great to visit with about the Spartan girls basketball team. And uh, good luck. Thank you. Appreciate it. Go Spartans.